This is a Maytag dishwasher uh, model MDB8959SFH. And there is a problem with the switch. I did take this apart. It's pretty self-explanatory as far as getting the uh, handle off. You just undo the screws and really no surprises. Um, the only thing you got to watch for is when you take it out, I always mark the connector blue and then blue on top so I get it in the right way. The issue is when you hit the start button, it fails. And the reason it fails is because if I try to do this holding the phone, if I press on this at the same time, this part here, you can hear it connecting. If I don't press, nothing. So whatever support was in there, see there's nothing, but you can see it trying to actuate. So I'm going to hold it again. It's hard to do it holding the phone. Let's try it this way. You can hear it actuating. And I'll release it. Nothing. And whenever I run into this, I always Google the model and whatever issue there is. And sure enough, person wrote, I have less than a one-year-old Maytag. Works great except the control panel buttons start sinking down into the door panel, not in the entire row, just the right side. It's gotten to a point where we have to use a pen to push down the button to get it to start. Um, there's a bunch of replies. It's a common problem and somebody wrote that Maytag doesn't continue making the parts past one year manufacture. Apparently they looked it up and could not get this part. And someone else wrote, by the time you pay the serviceman to come out and a part, if it, even if it did exist, it would exceed the cost of a new dishwasher. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take this piece of wood from an old paintbrush and I'm going to try and jury rig this so that it's in here so it gives this thing a support right here. The other issue is even with a support if you don't hit it on the left side if you hit it only on the right side it gets stuck and the reason it gets stuck is because when they made this thing the um, plastic around the button, it's too tight a fit and it grabs it. The other thing that happens is over the period of years is the grease and oil and everything else from trying to clean dishes gets in there and it mucks it up. So even if you were to fix the support, if you don't fix that, it's still going to jam. So what we're gonna have to do is take the whole stupid thing apart and widen this hole and see if that'll work. So let's see what happens after I do that. So here's what I came up with. I got three small pieces of wood to support the button. You don't want to you don't want to do it by
this is the circuit board underneath here where my pen's pointing. You don't want to you don't want to mess with that. You also don't want to put too much pressure on the plastic. Because as we've seen, they don't really use a whole a lot of good plastic in here. So you don't want to break the whole thing. Just enough to give it some support. And then I'm going to put some glue in here to hold it. Here's another thing I discovered. Um, take a Q-tip. Over the time, all the gunk gets around the square. And you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it on a Q-tip, all that glue, it's like glue, and then the buttons stick. So that's a major problem with these sticking. Okay, so what I did was I took this exacto knife and I went around the um, outsides of this hole. When you take this thing apart, this all the buttons become dislodged and you have to have something like this to be able to get them to fit in again. So it is a little tricky and time consuming, but if I hold it now, no matter where I press it, it releases. So the plastic surrounding this plastic button is too tight. Actually, this one over here is also starting to act up. Yeah, that one's... Uh, you know when they made this thing... Uh, uh, <laughs> I believe something like that could cause huge problems, but they're just too tight a fit for the buttons and they get, they get stuck. And then when they get stuck, you press on it really hard. And then, oh, guess what? Here's the, um, when you put it, jeez, this one just, this one just came apart. <laughs> See how that's broken? See how it's broken there? Um, this one is clearly... Here's the pieces. These are, these are the supports that go in here like this. I'm not sure what those um, extenders are supposed to do, but cheap plastic. Um, so let's see what happens as I continue to try and fix this thing. Okay, I have glued the pieces together and I also glued them to the support. Everything's working as far as mechanically. It ain't the prettiest thing, but what the hey. Um, I gotta put it back together. I am attaching the um, door. You need a special screwdriver. I forgot to tell you. Mm. Um, and then put these screws in first to support the door because it's heavy. And then put them in on the sides one at a time lightly at first. Here goes. It works! <laughs> oh, don't you love it when you fix something yourself?
cancel. Let's see. Oops. Cancel. Cycles. It works! Too bad. I didn't leave all the dishes and I washed them by hand. Anyway, that is how to fix what was this Maytag MDB8959SF without spending a whole lot of money. Um, I'm just gonna let the glue dry, actually. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to let the glue dry. That's it, folks.